Oh, hello there. Just enjoying a nice cold Pepsi throwback, made with real sugar, only 150 calories per can. You should try one. Anyway, welcome back to the second installment of Storytime with Joshua, in which I'm reading from Scary Poems for Rotten Kids by Sean O'Hugan. Today is actually one of my personal favorites of all time. Uh, it's The Day the Mosquitoes Ate Angela Jane, and I'm pretty sure I did a report on this in high school, I think. Um, at some point in my life, I've been reporting this poem and uh, got rave reviews back then. So, that's what you'll get today. Anyway, here's the first illustration. So, yeah, I guess you can do the whole thing. Um, there you are. So, that's what we'll be reading. Alright, here it goes. Angela Jane was a mean little kid. She bit and she spit, then she ran and she hid. She yelled at her mother. She screamed at her dad. Oh, Angela Jane was awfully bad. She'd go in the garden and eat all the weeds. She pulled up their flowers and stomped on their feet. She chopped all the trees and poured paint on their roots. She bit all the butterflies and put on her boots and ran through the garden, kicking about, pulling up vegetables. Then she would shout, I'm bad and I'm horrid. I like it that way. She yelled that quite loudly on one certain fall day. When the queen of mosquitoes was trying to sleep, the shouts woke her up, and she started to creep up the leaf she'd been sleeping on, looking around, to locate the source of that horrible sound. Her eyes fell on Angela, red in the face, sweat pouring off her all over the place. The queen of mosquitoes listened and looked. She sharpened her stickler, made sure it was hooked on, hooked on quite firmly, then buzzed all the rest of her clan. They met in the trees, and they started to plan. The queen said, that child is awfully mean. She's full of more blood than I've ever seen. And it's certain her blood is nasty and bad. The kind to make any mosquito quite glad. I suggest we get her and drink her quite dry. That horrible blood will help us to fly. And to sting with more power than ever before. Then we'll have the strength to go after more and will bite all the people all over the world. Mosquitoes shall rule thanks to that horrid girl. The sky soon was darkened by billions of wings. Mosquitoes were everywhere, sharpening their stings. The sound was so loud, it roared, and it, it roared through the land. People below did not understand what all of those bugs were planning to do. They wanted to conquer the world, even you. The bugs swirled and crowded. They flew towards the yard, where Angela Jane was working so hard pulling tails off the cats and pinching their ears. She was laughing so loud that she didn't hear. The thunder of bugs descending on her. She just yelled, Now, pussycat, let's hear you purr! The queen of mosquitoes sat on her nose. She stuck in her stickler and turned on the hose. When Angela tried to squat her away, she found that her arms were as heavy as clay. She saw she was covered from toe to her head with big fat mosquitoes all turning red as they sucked out the blood that they thought made them strong. But as Angela shrank, they found they were wrong. As Angela Jane shriveled up and went dry, all the mosquitoes started to die. For Angela's meanness was simply too thick. The nasty and bad in her blood made them sick. So think, my young friends, when you want to be mean, what happened to Angela Jane and the Queen? Uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you, and good night.